All right, so two days before Thanksgiving, our deep freeze went out on us. Uh, we lost between two to three hundred dollars worth of food, and I had just bought a 16 pound brisket to smoke for Thanksgiving, and we had to pitch it. <laughs> so um, I uh, decided to troubleshoot this because I didn't think it was going to be a bad fridge because we've only had it for about three years. It's a Danby. And so um, I kind of opened up the panel where the compressor is and learned some things. Um, if your deep freeze goes out, um, it's likely it could be, you know, one of four parts. You've got the, uh, the relay, um, and that goes on the front of the compressor, and I'll show that later. It's a little three-prong compressor. Um, you've also got the OLP, which is the overload protector um, on this model. And then you've got the thermostat, as well as the compressor itself. So, <clears throat> what I did to find out if this was bad was, I went and did continuity checks on all four of those things to find out um, which one was bad. So I'll show you kind of how I do those continuity checks. Um, I really just do the continuity check to listen for the little buzzer on my uh, voltmeter. Um, I don't care about the ohm measurement because I really don't know what the, um, the required ohms measurement should be. Um, unless you had a brand new part, then I guess you could find it out that way. Um, but those numbers aren't published, so I'm just checking for continuity to make sure that my circuit is complete. So at first I did think I had a bad um, overload protector. So I didn't even, I checked it and the ohms seemed a little low. Um, so I went ahead and bought a new one and put it on and still the um, the, uh, the compressor wasn't kicking on at all. But to check, the, uh, to, ohm, to check the ohms on these or the continuity, um, essentially you just touch the positive and the negative um, to this little base plate that goes around one of the prongs and that little, um, little thing that comes out that the wire connects to. And I've got continuity in that part. Check the continuity on the relay itself. One, you can check to see if the disc inside has broken. Um, if that's broke, then this thing's toast. Um, but if you're still not sure if you know if, if you're not getting continuity, you know you can just check all three of these prongs. Um, well, I guess these two should go together, and then. If the disc is complete, then this one should connect. So between those two prongs and we got continuity. Now, what I didn't realize is I guess I didn't really expect that my thermostat would be bad and that was essentially the culprit. And so uh, when I pulled it off, um, I went and checked the continuity on these two prongs right here and there was nothing. So, oops. So I knew that since I wasn't, you know, getting it, that buzzing sound between it, that the circuit within this had broken or there was a break in the line. And so my thermostat was bad. Um, I won't show you how to check the continuity on the compressor. It's, it's real similar. There's plenty of videos out there that show you that. Um, but I did just want to show you um, just kind of how to hook these parts up and to get your compressor up and running again. So the OLP and the, uh, the relay connect to these three prongs right here. And uh, the first thing that goes on, let me try to keep this camera steady is pull that back just a little bit more 
is the overload protector and it just goes right on that top prong and uh, it should just slide right on. Oh, yep. Just like that. And then once you got that on, then you have the relay that mounts to the bottom two prongs. And, well, and it goes on just like that. So, make sure those are fully connected and seated. And to, uh, whoops, looks like it moved out of frame. But if you ever need to remove those, you just pull them off, take the wires off, and you can replace them if they're bad. Now this right here is the area where the thermostat goes on. And I went and bought a new thermostat, it's 15 bucks. And uh, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to straighten uh, this wire out and I don't know if you can see in there but there's a hole right here that I have to feed this wire through and I'm not really going to showcase that because it might take me a little bit but I'm just going to follow the same path that that original wire had um, so that it's kind of butted up right up against the uh, internals of the, the deep freeze so that it can get an accurate reading. So, that's a little bit of a pain. Um, it had been a while since I had taken this thermostat out. And so, that little <coughs> wire has to be pushed back in to the, uh, to the foam and if you forget your path, it can be a pain in the butt to get that thing far enough in there. So, just a word of wisdom, uh, when you take that out, make sure you know how to get it back in. Because um, if not, you're going to be cutting into more of your foam in there. And, uh, but if you do forget, you know, just use the old, old thermostat to kind of make, cut a new path so you don't, bend up your uh, your wire all that much so uh, just a <laughs> just a little heads up um, when you're pushing that back in and I believe oh I lost my light goodness I believe that um, that wire should be there should be like a blue and red label on it I think it's supposed to be pushed all the way to where those aren't really exposed I, I don't know if that's a designator as to where the line should be and how much it should be in contact with the inside of your fridge. But um, that's uh, what I'm guessing it's for because I noticed on my old one that it had this black mark from uh, what appears to be some like black type of goo in there. So that's where I'm guessing I need to push it to. All right, so once you've got that pushed in there, then uh, just go ahead and uh, connect her back up. all hooked up and uh, screwed into the front faceplate and I'm gonna rearrange some stuff in there inside and uh, push that back in and I'm gonna fire her up. It's a beautiful sound. She's buzzing. <laughs> so uh, that's my trick for getting um, the thermostat replaced and checking 
um, all of the components to making sure that everything's running well. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section um, and I, I'll try to respond. All right, thank you. All right, and four hours later, she's as cold as ice. Yeah, she's chilling.